Hey guys, it's Orchid and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to customize your Mac. I've always really been into this kind of stuff like customizing my MacBook or my phone and things like that. So I'm really excited to share some tips with you guys and hopefully you'll learn at least one new thing by the end of this video. So let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to show you guys is how I got this screensaver. I feel like a lot of people don't know that you can do this and I absolutely love it. I love looking at this. What I do is I basically find pictures of some of my favorite places, some inspirational quotes, just pictures that are inspiring in general. So the first thing you want to do is create a new folder in order to save your photos in. So I already have mine right here so I'm just going to open that so you guys can see and I just numbered my pictures so that I can keep track of how many there are. You can have just a few pictures or you can have like a hundred pictures, it really doesn't matter and you can customize this however you want which is why I love it so much. So what I usually do is I will go to to Pinterest and I will just look up any picture that I want. A good way to find some of the pictures that I have is to just look up aesthetic photos and then you can just scroll through and find whatever pictures you like and once you find a picture that you like, so let's just say I want this one, I'll click on it and then I will save the image and I'll click on that folder which is my screensaver and like I said, I just number them because it just makes me feel more organized. And then I will save that. So then when you go to your folder, that should be right there. So again, you can save as many pictures as you want. You can use your own pictures, but I just like Pinterest because they literally have so many options to use. So then what you can do is go to System Preferences and then click on desktop and screensaver and then click on screensaver and the one that i use is shifting tiles so all you have to do is go to source and then choose folder and then you're going to want to choose your screensaver folder wherever you have that saved so then you click on choose and it'll bring that up for you so it's super easy to do but i just feel like a lot of people don't know that it's this easy and then there's another screensaver that i want to show you guys that's really popular and it's this analog clock and I really like the way this looks. I used to have this before I switched to the one I have at the moment and I'm just going to show you guys how to get this real quick because I know a lot of people like having this one. So again, you go to Chrome, look up analog clock screensaver and it should just be the first one that comes up. It should be this website. Then once it loads, you just click on it and go down to where it says download. It is completely free and they have it for both Mac and Windows. So you just click on download and let it do its thing. It shouldn't take that long to load. And then once it's done, you can just click on it and open it. So what you wanna do is just double click on this and then click on install. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. But basically you would just go here and it would show up. And then this is what it would look like. So both of these screensavers are great options and I feel like they're ones that people don't know that much about. So I just really wanted to share them with you guys. And then what you can do with this extra thing is just throw it in the trash because you don't really need that anymore. That just happened when you downloaded this analog screensaver. The next thing I wanna show you guys now that we're on this page is hot corners. So basically what you do is click on this button right here and the screen should pop up. And basically for each corner of your screen, you can set up a shortcut. So for example, my bottom left corner is start screensaver so if i just bring my mouse down here then my screensaver will automatically come up and i just love this because it makes things so much more convenient so if there's any shortcuts that you want you can just go ahead and pick them out and you can fill up all four corners with shortcuts or just one corner it's all up to you and what your preferences are but i definitely recommend taking advantage of this because again it can make things so much easier and quicker so yeah that's another thing that i feel like a lot of people don't know about because it's just kind of hidden right here in the desktop and screensaver section. So the next thing I want to go over is how to customize your folders. So as you can see, I have three folders in the corner right here and I love this so much because if you make a new folder, this is what it looks like and I never like the way that looks. Again, like I said earlier, I'm super into just customizing things and making them look so much nicer. You can pick any icon you want instead of the folder. So I just searched star clip art with a transparent background and then I went to images and you can just scroll through and see which one you like which one is your favorite or you can search something like icons with transparent backgrounds 
and scroll through those but you do want a transparent background because i feel like that just makes it look best but it doesn't have to be so once you find whatever image you want you can just save it to your computer so i'm going to show you guys the image that i use which is the star and as you can see the background is transparent so what i do is i click on command a to select this whole thing and then from there i'll click on command c to copy it and then you want to take your folder and click on get info and this screen should pop up and what you want to do is click on the folder icon at the very top and it should kind of get highlighted and then you just want to paste the star image onto it and then that will be your new folder and another trick is that if you want to create multiple folders at the same time but you don't want to go through the trouble of copy and pasting the image over and over again all you have to do is click on the folder and copy it so command c and then command v to paste and you can just keep pasting and you'll have all of your new folders right here and then what you can do is just change the names to whatever you want and start using those as your folders so it's super easy and simple to use so i'm going to go ahead and delete these now since i don't need them but again that's a super easy way to customize your macbook i recently decluttered all of my files a lot of them are on flash drives now because i was running out of space on my computer which is why my documents are literally empty except for my things for this video so i definitely recommend decluttering your laptop too if it's getting super crowded i definitely recommend having some kind of hard drive or flash drive to save things onto especially if you do youtube because that's what i do and it's such a lifesaver so i'm just going to show you guys what i have in these files real quick so the youtube one like i said i decluttered and i save all my videos onto a hard drive because they take up so much space so i do not want to have them on my laptop and then the only thing i have is just this folder for vlog music and if you wanted to you could also customize these folders as well but since they're kind of hidden in another folder i just didn't think that that was a huge deal to do so then the next one is my schoolwork so i just have a folder for every single class i have this semester and each semester i'll throw my folders out basically and save them on a flash drive or something or just delete them if i don't really need them and in each one of these i just have my schoolwork for each class so it is super convenient to have and it really helps me stay organized and then this one is my screensaver folder again of course so i just have all the images that i use for my screensaver and i also also try not to have a lot of folders on my screen because that just gets really irritating after a while and it just feels really messy and unorganized so i just like to keep my main ones here which are for youtube and school of course and then my screensaver the next thing i want to go over is how to customize chrome i absolutely love this so much and there are two ways that i'm going to show you guys how to do so the first one is the way that i currently have it so i'm going to show you guys how to get this pink background which is what i currently have and for this it is super simple all you have to do is go down to this bottom right corner and click on this pencil and you can either upload an image from your device or you can choose to have no background so that would just be like the plain white or you can pick any of these images that they already have which are pretty cool ones i've used a lot of these before and then you can go to color and theme and obviously i picked a pink color for my background i feel like whenever i open my laptop at like school or something a lot of people ask me how i got my background to be pink when it's super easy and simple to do and then you can also customize it and make shortcuts but i have my bookmarks up here as you can see so i don't really need to have any shortcuts down there since i already have everything i need access to right here at the very top and then the next thing i want to show you guys is another way you can customize so what you want to do is search momentum on your laptop then you want to go to this first website and then you're going to click on add momentum to chrome and then it should bring up this page and then you just click on add to chrome and then add extension and then you just have to wait a second for it to finish loading and then it'll ask what's your name so i'm going to put mine in and then it'll ask for your email, but you can choose the option to stay locked out, which is what I'm going to do since I'm just showing you guys this for the video. But it's super cool. You can put in what your main focus is for the day. So I'm going to say film a YouTube video. And it'll say that and once you're done, you can check it off. And it just helps you stay so much more productive. And it also looks super cool compared to like the regular background. And then if you want to search something, you would just search it up here. That's just another cool way to customize your Chrome. And then if you want to change it back to the way it was before, you can just click on remove from Chrome. So once you go back, it should be the exact same way as it was before. So I love how it just doesn't like completely delete everything you had there before. So that's really cool about it. For bookmarks, 
I definitely recommend having these up here It just makes it so much easier to access something So I just have like basic things that I use most of the time So I'll have like Netflix I have three different links for YouTube This takes me to the actual YouTube page This one takes me to my analytics And then this one takes me straight to my channel So that's very convenient because if I just want to access something super quick I can just click on it and it'll take me to it And then this one takes me straight to my Instagram page If you don't follow me on Instagram yet I definitely recommend that you go do that right now and then if you go back I just have like Twitter Facebook Pinterest and then the last few are all just for my schoolwork and links to like classes and stuff like that so again it just makes it super convenient and organized and then the other thing that I want to show you guys is sticky notes so I love sticky notes on my MacBook it makes it so easy for me to stay organized and remember what I need to get done so all you have to do is click on the sticky notes and it will pop up and I just have things I need to do today so I have some homework assignments and then like filming a YouTube video and then if you want to make a new one you just click on a new note and it'll pop up usually I like to go to color and change it to either like pink or gray you can just type something so I'm just gonna say like homework assignments that I have and what you can do is go to font and show fonts and then a bunch of options will come up. I like using the Helvetica New. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. And then I'll go to Bold Italic. And you can increase the size however much you want. And then the other trick you can do is just copy everything in this note if you want the exact same layout. And it'll pop up and then you can just change what it says and like change the words on this one and it'll be the exact same so you can really use this for anything if you want to close out of it you just have to click on this x and you can either save it or delete it and you can also move it around anywhere you want on the screen so it is completely up to you and then the last thing that i want to talk about is your dock so this thing down here is called a dock i definitely recommend just keeping stuff that you use all the time on here because when you originally get the macbook it comes with a ton of apps and a lot of them i never use so if you want to remove something from here you would just double click on it and click on remove from dock and it'll just go away um, and then you can find it in your launch pad where your other apps are for customizing your dock if you go to this line right here it'll allow you to make it bigger or smaller as much as you want and then if you want to move it around you can click on position on screen and move it either to the left or you can move it to the right or just move it back to the way that it was and then what you can do is also turn hiding on which will make it disappear and then the only time it'll pop up is if you actually bring your mouse down there and if you move it back up it'll disappear so that's really convenient if you just want to have the whole screen to do something and you just don't want that to be in the way but if you want to turn it back on you can just click on turn hiding off i usually just like to have it there because i like being able to see my apps and just like quickly click on them whenever i want but again either one works and that's just a way that you can customize your dog however you want so that is pretty much everything i wanted to share with you guys i really hope that this video helped you find some ways to make your mac look more aesthetic and clean and organized thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and i will see you guys next time bye